welcome to the latest webinar with Cosmetic Laser Dermatology. Today you are here for lasers, 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 all things lasers with Dr. William Groff. So whether you're here for deep wrinkles or sagging skin, maybe unwanted tattoo or scars, large pores, uneven skin tone, red spots, brown spots, or anything in between, there is a laser for you. And at Cosmetic Laser Dermatology, we're really proud to have be one of the largest laser centers in the country with over 50 state-of-the-art lasers and devices. Um, we're also, of course, very well known for our proprietary Take 10 treatment that Dr. Groff will be reviewing today. And one lucky attendee today at today's webinar will receive $1,000 off their next combination laser treatment with Dr. Groff. So make sure to stay until the end. Otherwise, um, I... I'm looking forward to getting started. This webinar is being recorded and we will have time for Q&A at the end. So any questions, you are welcome to submit. Without further ado, Dr. Groff, the floor is yours. So welcome everyone. We appreciate you uh, joining us. Just to give you a little background about our practice, um, we started here back in about, I think 2010 and over the years, we've acquired a lot of uh, equipment and lasers, which is great. I think we're up to over 50 now, 50 different lasers, which, um, you know, the great thing about that is there's many, many options for many, many conditions because, you know, if you only have one laser, what can you really offer your patients? You're going to offer the same treatment and it may not be this treatment that's best tailored to your needs. So we have lots of devices, lots of things we can treat. If it's treatable with a laser, we can do it. So um, there's six of us here now, six dermatologists. Uh, the other thing that I'm very proud of our practices is that when you come in to see me, for example, you will know that I will be the one taking care of you from start to finish. In other words, um, a lot of the med spas or if you go to a plastic surgeon office that has a laser, they're gonna hand you off to one of their ancillary staff to do the treatments, which in my mind makes absolutely no, no sense. You know, if I'm the best there is, then why would I ever hand one of my patients off to one of my staff to be treated? So whether it's your Botox, your fillers, your lasers, if I'm biopsying something, I do everything. I will never turf you off to any of my ancillary staff and neither one of my partners. So I think that's really, really important. The other thing is at our office, uh, we have an entire research department it's dedicated to the latest and greatest lasers, treatments to help you with your cosmetic needs. We must have at least 30 clinical trials going on right now. So you know whether we're on the cutting edge of uh, medicine, or cosmetic medicine, you're gonna get the best and safest treatments here. Um, and please feel free to enroll in any of those trials. I mean, we're actively looking for patients all the time. You can get on a mailing list and that would be great. So, but today, what my goal was, was try to present you when, you know, we have 50 lasers, how can you possibly as a patient weed through all those lasers and understand how they work and what they can do and which one you want? Well, really what it comes down to is that as a patient, when you come to see me, you have to have the trust in me that I'm going to recommend the best treatment for you. But as a patient, it's nice to know at least what's out there what kind of treatments, um, what kind of issues can be addressed with lasers. So that's kind of the purpose of um, my presentation today. So I broke it down into, there's vascular things that we can treat. That includes broken capillaries, rosacea, blue veins around the eyes and face, cherry angiomas, which I'll show you pictures on, of, and of course, birthmarks. We also treat leg veins here, but that's not usually done with lasers. So that's for a different discussion. As far as pigment, pigment's probably one of the most common things we treat here. That includes all your sunspots, age spots, birthmarks, melasma, which is a model pigmentary condition, tattoos, and I'll show you plenty of um, uh, cases of those problems. Uh, we do a lot of treatment for scars, whether it's surgical scars, traumatic scars, acne scarring. I see at least a few scars every day that we're uh, treating. So, and the Next thing we'll touch on is skin tightening. Skin tightening is still kind of the holy grail of our specialty, but I will show you things that actually work to tighten skin truly. Um, we'll also talk a little bit about fat reduction. 
Um, fat reduction includes cool sculpting, which we have done webinars on in the past. That's the freezing of the fat, which actually really works well, but we won't talk about that today. We're going to concentrate on lasers. Lastly, we're going to talk about wrinkles. Wrinkles are probably one of my favorite things to treat. Uh, we can do dramatic things with the lasers for wrinkling, and I'll show you that in this presentation today. So, but first, let's talk about vascular lasers. So these are the lasers that treat broken capillaries, rosacea, things like that. So as you can see, we have just off the top of my head, I listed six uh, different lasers or platforms that we have to treat vascular lesions. So we got the laser that's right for you if you have these issues. One of the most common things we see is uh, patients coming in with broken capillaries on their face. We call them broken capillaries. It's kind of layman's terms, but they're called flying dictasia. So they look like red little threads on the skin. So you can see this patient, uh, I treat her one time with a laser called V-beam, which the V-beam laser is really considered the gold standard treatment for broken capillaries. So we actually have three different V-beams in our office because it's such a busy laser, but we get such great results. Now with a treatment like this, this patient probably had two to three, maybe four days of swelling. There's no crusting, there's no scabbing, there's no peeling, just swelling. Sometimes you can get an occasional bruise because you're dealing or we're dealing with broken capillaries, which are vascular, remember? So a bruise is just a broken, a capillary that leaks blood out onto the surface of the skin, underneath the surface of the skin and gives you a bruise. Here's another female patient that has rosacea. You can see the textural change in her skin from years of rosacea. You can also see the redness. So again, with one treatment with a V-beam laser, you can see a really nice improvement. And we treat patients like this. Gosh, I must treat, I don't know, three to four patients a day with uh, conditions like rosacea or broken capillaries. Well, let's not forget, you know, even though probably 85 to 90% of my patients are female, uh, we still see a fair share of men and men are becoming more interested with each passing year in doing cosmetic things to look their best. So this gentleman here, uh, again, I did one treatment using a combination of V-beam and what's called a gentle YAG laser. The gentle YAG laser I used to treat those really big kind of obnoxious looking blood vessels. And then I used the V-beam to treat the smaller uh, vessels in the redness. So again, this one treatment, like dramatic change for him. He's very happy. Now, if you let rosacea or broken capillaries on the nose in particular uh, go untreated, sometimes they can transition to the skin into a condition called rhinophyma. Now, this is predominantly a man, but it also affects women as well. Uh, you can see, if you look at this gentleman's nose on the left, you can see how it's misshapen. There's lumps and bumps and really red. Well, he's in the, what I would say, early to moderate stages of rosacea. So what I did for him was I used a combination of two lasers. I used that B-beam laser for the redness, and then I used what's called a CO2 laser. A CO2 laser allows me to shape the nose. So with one treatment, I was able to... Uh, dramatically alleviate his cosmetic concerns. Which reminds me, I did want to give a shout out to our medical esthetician, Farzne, who did a facial on me last night for me, <laughs> knowing that I was going to do this webinar. So she's awesome. She has over 30 years of experience. When it comes to skin and facials and medical grade facials, she's awesome. Um, anyway, so back to our talk. This patient has a very, very common condition called poikiloderma of Savat. Big name, but really what it boils down to, it's discoloration caused by redness on the neck. And if you look carefully at her picture, if you look at the area under the chin here, you can see how that area is not really affected. The reason that area is not affected is because the chin acts as a shade. So when the sun is shining, this area is shaded. So this happens after years and years of chronic sun exposure, radiation exposure from the sun causes this mottled redness. So you can see with one treatment, again, with that V-beam laser, we were able to make some significant changes in uh, her appearance. <clears throat> this patient, she has, if you look closely at the photo on the left of the screen, you can see that she has all these red, purple little dots, and some of them are raised and some of them are flat. 
Well, that picture on the left was taken in 2010 before I treated her. So I treat her in 2010. She comes back, the picture on the right is 2018. So you can see those large purple red spots still are gone. The beauty of this treatment is one treatment, their history, and they almost never come back. So if you have those red little dots, purple dots on your body, you know, they, they pop up everywhere. It can be on your face, neck, chest, anywhere. We can easily treat them and get rid of those with one treatment. Now, children oftentimes, I see my fair share of pediatric patients here. Uh, you can see in this little boy's underneath his right eye, there's a little red dot. Well, that's actually a little uh, capillary at the surface of the skin. And it creates kind of obviously a reddish hue to the area. So it's called a spider angioma. So those are easily treatable. Even kids that are like, Three, four actually do really well because it's just one or two zaps with the laser. Yeah, sometimes they cry for a few seconds, but um, they do really well with the treatment. Those are usually gone with one treatment as well. You can see how happy he looks after it went away. Okay, so we're, remember, we're talking about vascular. So we're going to switch to a different type of vascular problem. This is one of my favorite vascular things to treat because I think these big blue purple veins can look so kind of obnoxious and um, cosmetically they just don't look good. So I love treating these. You can see in this woman's uh, left temple, she has this big kind of network of uh, blue veins. So I did one treatment on her with a laser called Cool Touch Varia, which um, is one of the best tools. We also use, there's a, a new variant of the VV that we use for this condition as well. They're both excellent. We can see with one treatment, I was able to eliminate pretty much most of that, um, what's going on there. So these big blue, we call them reticular veins. They oftentimes occur underneath the eye and in the temple area. And you can see that this, uh, this patient, again, I treated one time uh, with a cool touch laser and she had, I'd say 95% clearance or greater with one treatment. So with this treatment, you can expect a little bit of swelling under the eye, a little bit of redness. And if the veins are larger, it does take a few to several weeks for them to disappear because what the laser does is it closes the vessel down. So there's instant gratification from a patient standpoint because right away, and I have videos on YouTube that you can watch of all these treatments, by the way, which we'll talk about at the end. But you can watch me do the treatment, and with each pulse, you see that segment of the vein disappear. So it's a, a super interesting and a super cool treatment to watch, and it really makes a dramatic difference, I think, in a patient's appearance. So if you or any of your loved ones have these kind of blue veins around the eyes, we, we got you covered there. This is another patient I treated. Just you can see from the straight on, when you look at this patient, the first thing you see are those big purpley blue veins underneath her eyes. And again, one treatment and they were gone. Another uh, kind of vascular, it's not exactly vascular, but I included acne in the vascular category because we use a lot of the same lasers to address acne that we do for vascular. So this was a, a really pretty, young patient of mine that was really excited for her wedding, but her skin was not in a good place. So she came in, she saw me, we did a, a treatment called photodynamic therapy. So what photodynamic therapy is, it's we put a special medication on the patient's skin. We have to let them sit for about an hour, hour and a half, and the medication soaks into the oil glands of the skin. Then I expose the patient to intense pulse light, V-beam uh, lasers, and I also use a uh, red and blue light. That light and those lasers activate the medication, which shrinks the oil glands and kills the bacteria that uh, cause acne. So it actually works very similar in a way to Accutane, but without all the side effects that Accutane comes with. So we do a lot of, we treat a lot of patients with acne because, you know, patients get sick of taking pills, putting 10 different things on their face every day when they can come in and do PDT. Now, some patients only have to do one, but I do have patients that had to do a second and sometimes even a third round. So, but this, this patient had, did one round and, and she looked amazing for her wedding. 
this is another younger girl who's struggling with acne. She had acne scarring. So I did the same thing for her. Now we're gonna to switch topics. So we, we talked about vascular. Those are some of the most common vascular um, things we treat. Now I didn't include any pictures of birthmarks, but if you have friends or family members who have birthmarks like the port wine stains, the red mangiomas, things like that, we also treat those. And if you go to my Instagram, which you just type in Dr. William Groff, you'll see I have a bunch of birthmark photos in there. Now, <clears throat> as far as pigment, that's going to be our next topic. We're going to talk about brown spots. So you can see from this list here that we have a whole host of lasers to treat any pigmentary condition you have, including unwanted tattoos. So here's a, a younger patient with a face full of sun damage. She has a combination of melasma and uh, sunspots. And using a combination of lasers, which is my favorite way to really approach a patient. I love to give patients dramatic results in one treatment. I don't, unless a patient wants to, I don't like to string along like a series of four or five treatments when I can get an amazing result in one treatment, have the patient only have to have one period of downtime, endure lasers one time, that's what I shoot for but I always accommodate the patient. If the patient wants to do a slower approach, we can do that. But anyway, this patient, uh, again, I treated one time with a combination of two lasers. The first one's called Fraxel Dual, and the second one's called a Q-switched Alexandria laser. The Fraxel Dual gives a nice uniform peel to the face, whereas the Q-switched Alexandria laser, I use to treat individual spots. And this is her uh, a week and a half after, no makeup. Here's another patient that suffer, suffers uh, from a pigmentary problem called melasma. You can see the mottled brown discoloration on the forehead, the size of the cheeks here. This is her um, after one treatment I performed with the Fraxel Dual. Another patient, mid 30s, with lots of pigment from years of laying out in the sun. Uh, I use the same combination, Fraxel Dual Alexandra. It's one of my favorites for patients with. Uh, Phase four, sun damage and pigment. Now, the great thing about that combination is it's safe to use on almost every skin type. So I have a lot of Asian patients, Middle Eastern patients, Hispanic, Latina patients that I do this treatment on, and it works really well. This again is why I only did one treatment on her, and she was in her 50s. Here's another patient again in her 50s that had you know, a face full of sun damage, a face full of model discoloration, and the lasers really even out the skin tone, removing that the brown spots. I mean, let's face it, you know, freckling is cute when you're like 12, but brown spots are not cute when you get into your <laughs> later years. So uh, we strive to get rid of those. Uh, here's another Asian patient. Uh, super nice, came in like stressed out about all of these brown spots. You can see like they're not all flat. Some of these are thick raised brown spots. So again, I used a combination of Fraxel Dual and Alexandrite and this is how she turned out with one treat. So I was really happy for her. She was, she was thrilled. Now, of course, our treatments are not limited just to the face. I can treat brown spots on you from head to toe. I mean, I've treated plenty of legs, hands, arms, you name it. Wherever you have brown spots, we can take care of them. So this is a chest uh, patient whose chest I did, uh, again, with the Q-switch Alexandrite uh, laser. Now, this woman I did, I used a different technology. I used IPL, which is intense false light, which, again, you know, we have so many different technologies. When you come in to see me for a consultation, you and I can sit down and we'll discuss what kind of approach? Do we want a quick result or we want a, a slow gradual improvement? And that will kind of dictate which lasers I use, how many lasers I use and so forth. So it's a, it's a joint, you know, obviously discussion and decision. Here's a male patient who had, if you look closely at his, his upper chest, all kinds of sun damage, same with his back. So again, you know, we forget about the husbands out there, but they need, they need treatment too. They want to look their best too, especially with summer. So um, this is a treatment using uh, the pigment lasers at our practice. Like I mentioned earlier, we, we do, I do a lot of hands. I mean, 
hands are kind of like, if you have a really nice skin on your face, but your hands look bad, well, that's not good. So um, you want the hands to match the face. So no, no matter how desperate the situation might seem or how bad you think your skin may be, again, this is, I did one treatment on this woman and, you know, dramatic difference. Could we do a second treatment just to get up, like some of the straggling spots that didn't go away? Sure. But she was so happy, she didn't even bother. <clears throat> this is an interesting patient. Uh, this is a birthmark. Um, you know, she was in her 40s when she came to see me, so she had struggled with this her entire life. And when she found out she had seen one of my photos on Instagram, she's like, wow, she had no idea that it was treatable. So you can see after a series, this is a series of treatments. I think I did five, maybe six treatments on her over uh, probably about a year and a half. Uh, you can see that picture on the right with no makeup on. So she did really well. So a different pigment treatment that we uh, do here is for tattoos. So this is one of my tattoo patients. It was spread across her entire chest, this angel with wings. And you can see not only I treated the, uh, the tattoo, but I also got a lot of her brown spots in the other two. Same laser, that q switch to Alexandria laser. Now for tattoos, we have, gosh, I think we have seven different lasers for tattoo treatment. We have the latest technology, including the Pico Way, the Pico Shore, the PQ4 lasers. And then we have some of the old, good old standbys like a Q-Switch Druby. Uh, we have like, the Q-Switch Alex. So again, these are names to you, but it just means we have options. We have options we can treat tattoos of any color, really. Another tattoo patient of mine uh, with a really nice result. Uh, this patient, you can see she had a, her uh, a name across her back. Um, Probably was cool when you're like, you know, 18, but when you start having kids and stuff, it doesn't look so good anymore. So we see a lot, we see a lot of that with our tattoo regret patients. And, and I like tattoos. I'm, I mean, my wife has some tattoos, but sometimes people make bad decisions and, and we're here to help out. So um, anyway, you can see with a series, I think I did four treatments on her. And this after photo is taken, uh, that was before her last treatment. So there's just a hint of ink left. Um, so you can see there's some red, green, black. We can treat all those colors. This one's got purple and blue. And again, this after picture <clears throat> was taken before we did their final treatment. So scars, we, I kind of touched on the fact that we treat a lot of scars here. Again, we have a whole host of lasers and it's not important for you to know exactly the names we that's a decision and a discussion we have when you, you come in for your consultation because every scar is different every treatment we do here is personalized and tailored to what you need we don't tailor our patients to the lasers we have like i was saying earlier if if an office you go to only has one laser well they're going to try to make you do whatever that laser can do we're here to take care of you and whatever your issue is so this is a patient of mine. It's actually uh, one of my favorite um, cases, honestly. I mean, I just, just, I felt so bad for this patient. I was so happy to help her. Um, you can see she had surgery um, and it was pulling down on her eye and uh, the wound did not look really good. And I really was um, concerned about what we could do for her. So we embarked on a journey over a series of about six treatments using the V-beam and Acupulse lasers. And you can see that's literally, that she looked that good. She has no makeup on there. Uh, you can see the actual lasers release the tension for the pool of the eye, which there's publications showing the ability to do that. So I was just so absolutely thrilled. I think it's probably one of my favorite um, cases or patients, really I should say patient, but it's, I love this, this case. We treat a lot of acne scarring here. So you can see this young gentleman um, was concerned. He's, you know, in his early 20s, had a lot of acne in his teens and a lot of depressed scarring. You can see with a series of treatments, acne scarring is always going to be a series of treatments. It's very important that patients understand that. There's no magic, no matter what people tell you on Instagram or Facebook, or there is no magic one treatment that's going to eradicate everyone's acne scars in one treatment. That would be a rare thing. Usually you need multiple treatments. So anyway, so I did a series of Fraxel and Vivian treatments on this gentleman, and you can see he looks much better. Uh, 
uh, again, with acne scarring, we see a lot of patients uh, with a variety of skin types. So it, with super fair patients or patients with darker skin, we have the lasers to treat all skin types. So you can see this gentleman had a lot of kind of deeper scarring in his temple area. And again, I did a series of fractal treatments and they're virtually gone now. This is a traumatic scar. This young uh, patient had been to a bar in downtown San Diego, actually got hit with a beer bottle overhead. Uh, if you can believe that, these things actually happen. Um, but she had a, a pretty obvious raised, a curvilinear scar. So I did a series of V-beam and fractal treatments on her scar, and, and it turned out really well. So uh, this is a surgical scar underneath the breast, and you can see it's thick, raised, ropey, and red. And this is after, again, scars generally need more than one treatment. I did a series, I think, four treatments, and this patient's scar looked smooth and barely perceptible. This young man was burned uh, as a child. Um, his mother was warming up milk and it spilled on his face, so terrible accident. And you can see the scar is very thick and obvious. And uh, after a series of treatments, I was able to help him at least get it smoother and less noticeable. So the next uh, topic we're gonna talk about is lasers for skin tightening and fat reduction. So <clears throat> but my favorite for fat reduction and tightening is gonna be Thermitite, which I'm gonna show you some pictures of here in a sec. So this 39 year old, you can see there's fullness and lack of de definition to the uh, jawline. So I did a procedure on her called Thermitite with micro lipo. It's about a 45 minute procedure that is painless. It's non-surgical and it's minimally invasive. What it involves essentially is I inject numbing solution in the area to be treated. So she's completely numb, awake, painless. I take a tiny needle, make one poke here, one on either side. Through that tiny poke hole, I'm able to insert a thin, it looks like a metal straw. We call it a cannula. The cannula is hooked up to suction. I suck out any fat I could get from this area. Instant improvement. But in addition to that, I pass a thin probe, it's the thermi probe, through that hole. And when I fire the probe that's connected to the thermi type machine, it generates energy, which is delivered to the undersurface of the skin and causes tissue tightening. So again, one treatment, long lasting. I've been doing these treatments for 10 years. I've never had to do a repeat. So it's funny because there, if, if you're on Instagram, I always go back to Instagram because a lot of patients are on Instagram. If you go back to Instagram, there's local plastic surgeons that tell, oh, the only way you can fix this is with a face and neck lift. But, you know, and then they give you a quote for a $50,000, $100,000 face lift. Some guys in town are giving quotes for face lifts of $100,000. This is a procedure that takes, like I said, 45 minutes, tops, painless. You're wide awake. You can drive yourself home couple of days, maybe two, four days, a little bit of swelling, bruising, you're good to go. So this is a patient, a perfect example. This is her before and three days after. And the beauty of this procedure is you will see continual tightening and improvement in this area and along the jawline for uh, six months, sometimes up to a year. Here's a, a female patient that, again, I treated, she was in her forties. You can see, uh, the lack of a jawline and, and this kind of this laxity of the neck here. So you can see how good she looks two months out. Non-surgical. Here's a male patient again, lacking definition. Uh, the face kind of just melted into the neck. There was really no jawline so to speak of. And so you can see after one treatment, the, the angle looks much better and he actually, his jawline looks a lot better. Another male patient. So this is a great treatment for guys, actually. This is one that guys really like to go for. Um, so again, before and about six weeks after I treated this, this male patient. So you can see I have a lot of male patients, but a lot of females. I mean, this one's probably mm, uh, 60 to 70% women, 30% men in, in our practice. So the, the other way to predictably tighten skin is to use the CO2 layer. Everyone's skin gets tighter with the CO2 laser, as you can see in this picture. Uh, 
all this laxity through her cheek, much better. Upper eyelid, lower lid, tighter, smoother. And now that I'm thinking about this, the Thermitype procedure, which I was discussing for the neck, I did an entire webinar on that procedure, which you can access on YouTube, or I think Risa can maybe talk on this when we're done. Uh, you can access through our website. Uh, here's another patient that, again, I treated with a combination of the CO2 laser in the face and Thermitype on the neck to tighten the skin and tighten the neck. So in, in addition to tightening, you can see that the CO2 laser, as well as the Erbium laser, the Fraxel lasers, um, will, will improve texture and wrinkling. And that's one of my favorite things to do. It probably might be my very favorite thing to do. And we call this procedure Take 10 because I'm able to take 10 years off a patient's appearance if you give me 10 days of social downtime to work with. And it's a great alternative to a facelift. A, it's not $50,000 close or a hundred, um, but B, there's no cutting, there's no scarring, there's no risk of looking weird or too pulled. And it really does take 10 years off as you'll see in the photos I'm about to show you. So um, this patient, I mean, just having the deep wrinkling around the mouth alone, if you can take that away, you've bought yourself 10 years right there. So then that's exactly what I did for this patient. Some patients will just work around the mouth. Some will just work around the eyes. Um, some obviously will do the whole face. Here's another one. This is a different patient where I did the work. I did her whole face, but I was wanted to show you the mouth, how important it is to clean up lines and wrinkling around the mouth. And these women have never smoked, and most that I see haven't. It's a genetic um, issue is why they get a lot of this wrinkling. I really, really love this treatment around the eyes. So. Uh, you can see this woman had hooding and wrinkling of her upper eyelids and kind of laxity and wrinkling on the lower lids. And this is, I did one treatment on her for around the eyes. Same thing with this patient. CO2 erbium lasers to tighten and smooth the eyelid skin. This is a different patient. So um, you can see it's very repeatable. I have a ton of before and after pictures of patients that I've done this on, uh, which you can access either through my Instagram, my Facebook, my YouTube, uh, the practices website, all good resources. And this is the full face using the CO2 and Erbium lasers to tighten and smooth the skin. There's no other way you can tighten skin like this without doing a kind of a laser peel using the CO2 and Erbium. Here's a younger patient again. I think she definitely got 10 years back by smoothing, tightening, and wrinkle reduction. So here's a 72-year-old patient that I treated. Again, I think easily she's, I, I like this picture because it's, it's true and that it shows that the patient still has some pinkness. Because you can, after the laser, this type of laser, you can still have some pinkness that can last a few weeks sometimes several weeks till it goes away. But that of course can be simply covered with makeup until it goes away. Here's a patient I did a combination face, neck using lasers and the Thermitype procedure. Three weeks out, still pink, but looks awesome. So as I mentioned, the best way to see uh, examples and videos of these procedures are on my Facebook, practice website, my Instagram, um, in YouTube, I have some great, I mean, I must have 100 videos of different procedures. Everything we talked about today, you can watch a video. Um, and you can also, like I said, for the, for the Take 10, which takes 10 years off, I have a whole separate webinar you can watch, as well for the Thermi type procedure. So, Risa, I guess we can probably um, take some questions now. If you're yes, ready. that would be great. Thank you so much, Dr. Grob. Okay. That was... Sure. That was amazing. A lot of people are already saying they're going to come in for a consult right away. I know the pictures okay. really are, you know, say it all. Um, oh, so I, I will take this screen down in a minute so you guys can see Dr. Groff larger. So if anyone wants to take a screenshot um, or of any of these Instagram handles, this is the time. Otherwise, this is the time to submit any questions you might have. And we are going to get right into them. All right. Um, 
So how about someone with Indian, uh, the, with the, the, this Indian skin? Can they use lasers? Yes, certain lasers you can, certain lasers you can't. But again, that's why we have 50 lasers. We, we want to be able to treat everyone. So that's why we have such a large um, collection. So yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We treat many patients with skins of color of all, all yeah. types. Yeah, San Diego is one big melting pot. We have patients from all over the world here. All right. Um, how do you treat active hormonal acne with lasers? Hormonal acne, that would be photodynamic therapy, but really, um, you know, I would probably ask patients to see their general dermatologist first to make sure there's no hormonal issues that have to be addressed. And then once they get clearance, then we can proceed with uh, photodynamic therapy. Yeah, that's great. And just my two cents, I did that myself. They sent me to my medical dermatologist, got on some prescription medicine. It still wasn't enough. So I did photodynamic therapy and I am undergoing the treatment right now. Yeah, look how good your skin looks. <laughs> yeah, not perfect yet. I have one more treatment to go, but I, I've been loving it. And it removes wrinkles at the same time. So it's a win. -win. Yeah, sun damage too. Yes. Um, let's see, can CO2 laser be used on the neck and chest as well? Or is Thermitite preferred? If the if there's laxity and fat, you would definitely want to go thermitite. If it's for wrinkles and texture, then we would go a CO2 laser. But a lot of patients have both. So a lot of times I'll do thermitite and CO2 on the neck. Fractional CO2, yeah. Yeah. All right. This person says, hello. So good to see you, Dr. Gruff. I awesome. had a Morpheus 8 um, on my face recently. How okay. long do I have to wait until I can have a laser procedure with you? Maybe the take 10. Uh, after Morpheus, I would say I'd probably wait six weeks. It would be plenty. I mean, when I used to, uh, in my prior practice, I used to work with uh, four or five plastic surgeons and if the patient had a facelift, I could do laser CO2 in them six weeks later. Sometimes we'd even do it the same day. So Morpheus 8, honestly, we'd probably do it now, but now nah, this is wait six weeks. Okay. Um, let's see. I've noticed that my skin on my face scars more easily as I get older. Will laser treatments help strengthen the skin and help with collagen production? That's a great um, question. And absolutely, there's been, I mean, gosh, probably a hundred, hundreds of studies that have demonstrated that with laser treatment, skin gets healthier, it gets thicker, actually, not thinner. It's an old wives tale that lasers make your skin thin. No, they make them thicker because you build new collagen elastic tissue. So uh, yeah, it absolutely will help you. Interesting. Yeah. Right. Um, any reason why someone may not want to use a CO2 laser and instead use a less severe treatment? Well, sure. I mean, uh, you know, depending on your age, skin type, desired outcome. I mean, there's a lot of different reasons I might not use, you know, like Risa, I want to use a CO2 laser on you. You don't need it. You're not, you know, you don't have deep lines or wrinkles and stuff like that. So yeah, it just depends. Again, that's why we have 50 lasers to choose from. I mean, everyone has different concerns, different skin types. Uh, so again, we customize it to whatever you have and what your goals are. Yeah, absolutely. And I know even yeah. myself, when I was talking to Dr. Groff about this and he walked it through, it was, you know, would you rather have one procedure and have some downtime, but be one and done? Or would you rather do a couple of procedures over a couple of months and not have as much downtime? And that was, you know, I think that's a personal preference too. Um, all right. Hi, Dr. Groff, Lisa here. My legs are still healing, but my face and lips are next. Thank you for being the best doctor ever and helping with my skin issues. <laughs> Just a little comment. Yes, sir. Thanks. All right. Um, do a lot of the patients that you show the before and after photos also have fillers? The ones that I showed today, none of them have fillers. So but when you tighten and smooth skin, it's going to look like there's some additional volume. But some patients do have Botox. But I mean, I would encourage anyone who's going to go undergo. I mean, every every person in this office has Botox. I have it. All the front desk girls, Reese has got it. There's a reason because it keeps the skin looking nice and smooth. So if you're going to make this investment, uh, <laughs> you're going to make this investment in lasers especially laser resurfacing like the take 10, you want to preserve those results as long as possible, right? And Botox is, it is the safest thing we do here. 
It's safer than any laser. So yeah, I would always encourage patients to do Botox. And some of the patients did in those pictures, some did, but um, anyway. Okay, got it. Um, Dr. Groff, what do you offer for unsightly purple spider veins on the legs? I had one treatment with a very good derm and had to wear pressure hose. Um, it didn't work very well. So now I'm wondering what else can be done? Well, again, I mean, you, you have to think of, there's many reasons why leg vein treatment can fail. It can be technique. It can be the solution they're injecting. Um, it can be anatomy that they don't realize there's other issues going on. So, I mean, I wouldn't give up on sclerotherapy because injections are still the gold standard for leg veins. So, I mean, the best thing to do would be come in and um, see, you know, see us and have your leg veins evaluated. You might need an ultrasound to make sure there's not some valve issue with your veins. So, yeah. Absolutely. I agree. And we have yeah. some of the best leg vein experts in the country. Um, yeah. yeah. Dr. Goldman's written like 10 textbooks on leg veins. So, you know, yeah. he's the man for that. Um, for CO2 lasers, um, do you numb people or do you put them to sleep? How do you manage pain? Well, that's a great question. We do numb them, and, but we don't put them to sleep, but we do give them a light sedation. So, for patients probably 45, 50 and older, you may be familiar with a colonoscopy procedure. Well, they usually do like a twilight or IV sedation for that. And that's what we do for a lot of our uh, take 10 resurfacing patients. So we give you an IV, we give you some light, light IV sedation, like you and I will talk during the procedure, but most, a lot of patients don't remember our conversations or they don't even remember the procedure. Some do though, but it makes it very comfortable. Um, all right. Can you treat my face and my neck at the same time or do they have to be separate procedures? No, my favorite thing is to treat a patient's face, neck, chest all in one day. That's absolutely. <laughs> um, does, how does Thermitite work if you have neck bands? Well, that's a great question. And, you know, unfortunately it won't. And I literally just turned a patient away today. She you know, I was examining her neck and she had one of those prominent bands. I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Thermotite's not going to work. I mean, I turn away um, one, two patients probably a day that aren't just good candidates. And I'm happy to tell them that. I want them to be happy and I want them to get the right treatment. If I can't offer it, I have great, you know, doctors that I refer to. Got it. Um, Let's see. Um, hi, Dr. Groff. By the way, I love you. Um, uh, how, how does the laser treatments promote collagen? Um, how? Mm -hmm. well, it's the trauma. It's the trauma to the skin, to the dermal layers of skin that trigger a cascade of events that lead to the new collagen elastic tissue formation. So that being said, the lasers that induce the most trauma will stimulate the most new collagen elastic tissue. So Whereas a procedure that's really light, like say uh, IPL or clear and brilliant will stimulate new collagen elastic tissue, you certainly get a lot more new collagen elastic tissue from a, a stronger treatment like CO2 laser. Understood. Okay, let's see. How long does it, the Take 10 results last? Do they last? I would say the average patient probably gets until they feel like they need to do it again. I'd say seven, seven years on average, some longer, some a little shorter, it depends on your genetics, how well you take out, care of your skin, how old you are, all these things come into play. Botox upkeep. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, you said that you can do partial face on a take 10. Why would right. someone want to do that? Why wouldn't they just wanna do their whole face? Well, believe it or not, if you look through uh, my before and after pictures, you'll see that some people have really nice, like their cheek skin's nice and smooth and, and not wrinkled, but their upper lip is full of wrinkles. And it's a genetic thing, or maybe they did smoke. So, you know, I can do, sometimes I'll just do an upper lip. Sometimes I'll do just, you know, between here and here, like around the mouth for wrinkling, because the cheek skin's really nice. And sometimes people just need improvement around the eyes. So that's, but I, I mean, ideally for most patients, it's best to do the whole phase. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, there's a couple questions here that maybe I can try and combine into one. Are there uh, any patients you can't treat? Um, someone asked about um, if I'm on blood thinners. Someone else said if I have lupus. Um, no, I've treated, I, we treat, I treat patients all the time with both 
<coughs> excuse me, the both of those problems. That's fine. Okay. So are there any specific patients we can't treat like automatically? I guess that's a hard question. I can't really think of it. Okay. Ethler's Eth very few unless symptoms. you have like severe cardiac disease. It's very rare that we're not able to uh, work on someone. Okay. Great. Um, okay. So, I saw a question pop up about if someone has neck bands, does that mean you can't do any other laser work? Well, no. We can definitely, like, if there's textural issues, brown spots, redness, we have all the lasers to address that. We just can't. Sometimes with neck bands, Botox or Dysport works very well. So, again, I have to examine and see what the degree of banding is, but that's an option as well. Got it. Okay, so many questions coming in. This is great, you guys. We have, a, we have about 10 minutes left. We'll get through as many as we can. Um, all right, um, can you use CO2 laser on Asian skin types? Yes, but I would recommend, uh, again, we usually pre-treat their skin, their skin with a topical medication to prevent hyperpigmentation. Hyperpigmentation is when, say, if I resurface in a patient with Asian skin, after they peel, usually around week three it happens, their skin starts to get a little bit darker. It's temporary, but it's temporarily annoying for the patient, but it's a possibility with uh, Asian skin. So I like to pre-treat to try to reduce the risk of that. And then I have some strategies I employ after treatment to reduce the risk. But if it happens, it's temporary. So it's not any more makeup and so forth to cover, but it can last a few to several weeks sometimes. Mm -hmm. But the, the short answer is yes, we can. <laughs> okay. All right. This is a great one that maybe a lot of women on here are wondering. My husband has brown spots from the sun on the side of his face and his forehead. What might be the best laser for him? Most likely we could do this, the, which I've done on my face and my neck. Like I said, I love this laser. It's called a Q-Switch Alexandria laser. It's got a three millimeter beam. I literally just he, hit each individual spot. They get a little bit darker and they fall off in like five days. And he'll, he'll be thrilled. You'll be thrilled. His skin will look so much better. Brown spots are never good. I, I, they're like my biggest pet peeve, I think. <laughs> um, can lasers minimize the appearance of um, blood vessels that appear on the face? The red spots are darker than typical rosacea. Oh, absolutely. Again, I, you must have missed the beginning of my um, presentation, but I have uh, at least a few really good photos of patients that have, you know, that exact problem and you can get amazing results. Great. Um, okay. A couple of people are saying at, at what age do people start thinking of a take 10? Some of them are younger and they want to think. So, I mean, I just, I was going to say, I just treated a girl today that was in her thirties, but you have to understand that these lasers just don't have like an on off switch and then you just run it over the face. It's not how it works. The CO2 laser has probably five or six different parameters that I put in and every change of every parameter results in a different laser to skin interaction. So the way I just treated that 30 something year old is completely different than I would treat that 70 year old with deep lines and wrinkles. So but most, I'd say if I had to pick the average age of my take 10 patient, I would say probably low to mid 50s, but certainly lots of patients in their 40s. I have patients that even in their 80s that I do it on. Interesting. And yes, I'm 39 and I am signing up soon. I know. I definitely want it. Um, all right. This is actually a really good question. Can you get the same results if you do multiple less aggressive treatments versus one aggressive treatment? A hundred percent for lines and wrinkles. Absolutely not. You could do 20 lesser intense treatments. And you would never even get close to what I can do with one strong treatment. So that's something that's unfortunate, but it's true. So um, now things like brown spots, if you want to take a kinder, gentler approach and stretch it out over a multitude of treatments. Yes. Wrinkling, skin tightening. No, you have to do the once and done. If you want the impressive result. If you want that wow 10 year yeah. result, you have to do the stronger lasers. Yeah. yeah. Doing a series of 50 of them won't get you there. Yeah. Lighter laser treatments. 
Hi, What's Dr. Groff. Um, can you elaborate a little bit more on treating sun damage on the back of your hands? You said in a previous webinar that you use different lasers for the hands because the skin is different. Which True. laser is best than that? More than one laser. So probably over 90% of the time, if a patient presents to me with brown spots on the uh, back of the hand, I'm going to use two lasers. I'm going to use that Q-switched Alexandria laser, which I talk a lot about, and then the uh, Fraxel dual laser. So you get a nice light but significant enough peel on the back of the hands that all the sun damage and brown spots come off. Got it. Um, all right, here's another question about the neck. Um, what, is there anything that can be done using lasers for horizontal neck bands or tech neck? Uh, you know what, those are really, really difficult. Um, with a lot, if you look at my thermotype before and after pictures, you'll see patients where the thermotype procedure actually does help. But I would never tell someone to do thermotype for just treating neck bands. It's like a side benefit at work, but there's too much of a degree of unpredictability about it. So I wouldn't tell someone to do it just for tech neck, for just lines. If they have some fat or laxity there, definitely we can try, but it's unpredictable. So. Okay. The most aggressive lasers on the neck still don't get rid of those neck, those horizontal bands. I mean, most people that have them, they're genetic and they're there, even if you look at pictures when they're in their 20s. So anyway. Got it. All right. I think last question, unless a couple, anyone has more. Um, okay. do, do lasers do anything for under eye bags that come with aging or would that require more aggressive cosmetic surgery? That's a good question. Um, it depends on, you know, eye bags kind of a generic type term, like some people eye bags, it's really just some skin laxity. Some people, there's a little bit of fat herniation. Um, the question is quite possibly yes, but I'd have to actually see that in person to know, yeah. Yeah, um, okay, another question. I was recently in for a consultation. You mentioned that you prefer patients to stick around town for a few days afterwards, since a lot do come from out of town to see you. Sure. Just thought maybe you could explain this to anyone in the group that's um, on this webinar from out of state. Well, I mean, of course, you know, as a physician, you always want to be able to follow up with your patients in person. That's ideal. Right? When you're doing a stronger laser treatment like um, Take 10, I mean, I'd like to be able to see in person, see your skin. But that being said, I have patients that fly in all the time and they leave, you know, during the healing process, whether they drive or fly. So, I mean, the beauty of the technology available today is photos are amazing. I mean, I can see a lot of detail in photos that, yeah, we, we have a lot of patients send in photos instead of um, do, you know, in-person follow-up. So we try to accommodate our out-of-town patients. Yeah, absolutely. So for out-of-town patients, what would be the next step? Um, should they come in and see you in person or they do a video consult? I mean, usually I think... A combination of doing a video consult face to face, like kind of you and I are right now, and then sending in pictures at the same time. So we can have a, a live discussion and conversation, and I can look at your photos. And we, you know, because video, the details not there, digital photos, the details there. Got it. All right. This is kind of a fun question. Dr. Groff, what was the first laser you tested or treated on yourself? Probably the one for brown spots. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was a brown spot popped up when I was a resident. I felt the residents treated. <laughs> Very cool. All right. A lot of people are saying, great, I'm going to be in touch. Um, appreciate the informative webinar. So um, I know there's a couple of questions I didn't get a chance to get to, but we got through a lot. And I really encourage you all. I posted the, the two webinars that Dr. Groff referenced, the Thermitite and the Take 10 in our chat, if you would like to get links to those. Otherwise, um, I do highly recommend you come in for a consultation. Dr. Groff is available. We also have six other board certified dermatologists who have access to the same lasers and um, a lot of the same training and are also amazing. So um, I, uh, okay, a few more questions coming in. I'm sorry, we don't have time to get I was just trying to answer some. That's why I'm like looking down. I was okay, thank you. But but ultimately, um, you know, definitely follow Dr. Groff and CL Derm on Instagram and feel free to come in for a consultation because everything that we do and Dr. Groff does is highly customized for each person. I've myself watched him do many take tens and every single one is slightly different. Like the sure. protocols, the settings on the lasers and all the details. 
So, all right, without further ado, I know everyone wants to win the thousand dollar off the next combination laser treatment. And I have just done a random, um, a random calculation and I have the winner, but to, um, for HIPAA privacy, we are going to notify them tomorrow. And if they are okay with it, we will post them on social media. Um, so I will get that done. In the meantime, a couple of people are asking me for links. So let me post those. Um, do we know when Dr. Groff is next available to make an appointment? I am not sure off the top of my head, but great news. You can book online on our website since right now our office is closed. So I encourage you to go to cldurham.com and you can see what his availability is right on the website and book yourself a consultation. It's definitely worth getting on the schedule, even if you are not sure enough to cancel because we are pretty booked up and Dr. Gruff is highly in demand as you would expect. So... Uh Yes. Hey, Risa, where, where is the best place for them, in your opinion, to get see the webinars that we've done? Welcome to the latest and... webinar from Cosmetic Laser Dermatology. Sorry, I was clicking on the link myself. The, the oh. best place is on our website. Um, you okay. can go to our website on the video page, and you can actually sort and look only at webinars. You can look at only videos by Dr. Groff, or you could look at any spe specific um, question on there. Oh, someone just said, I have beautiful skin. Thank you so much. Um, I, of course, use all of the amazing treatments at Cosmetic Laser Dermatology. And I didn't know, but I also had a facial yesterday with Farzane. So maybe that's yeah. why. I actually well, yeah, did. Two of us. I, I must have been right before you, but she really is our best kept secret. She's um, <laughs> that and lasers and Botox. Right. Anyways, um, thank you all so much for tuning in. And thank you so much, uh, Dr. Groff, for all this yeah, education. No. And we really hope to see a lot of you um, in the future. And we hope that this edu this webinar was helpful so to point you in the right direction. So thank you again. And the recording will come out this weekend and we will um, notify the winner tomorrow. Awesome. Thanks, Dr. Yeah, Roth. Thanks for, yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.